Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So we're going to go over a little Digibyte news today. Uh, look into subscriber pool, see what my rigs did, and maybe some other things. Be back in a bit. Alright, real quick guys, before we go on, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, uh, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. Um, all you got to do is subscribe, hit that notification bell below, and it's as simple as that. Um, usually every Wednesday is the uh, enter to win video, then Fridays is the actual video where I pick a winner, alright? So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're real close to 1,000 subscribers. We're sitting at 987 right now. Once I hit 1,000, um, the amount of Bitcoin I give away goes up. All right. So do that real quick before we move on. And um, with that, let's get into the Digibyte news. All right. Um, real quick, I was going to do a, um, a Wind Miner versus Nice Has versus Honey Miner video today. But what I want to do is, I was going to run them 24 hours to see how it is, but I figure I could get a pretty good idea of which one is more profitable in 12 hours. So what I'm going to do is let my laptop run, probably starting at about 7 tonight till 7 the next morning. I'll do that for three days, each with each miner, and then I'll do the results on that. So that would probably be Tuesday uh, or Wednesday next week. When I get the finalized results and see which one is better. And so with that, let's get into the um, Digibyte news. Um, Digibyte's primary focus is not payments, and it's a smart strategy. So in a recent keynote address in Utah, Digibyte founder Jared Tate touched on something quite interesting. He said the primary focus of Digibyte is not payments, but rather on cyber security. According to Jared, the future of Digibyte is in cybersecurity, specifically in the areas of artificial intelligence and IoT. This is actually a smart move as opposed to focusing Digibyte on payments and competing solely on the basis of transaction speed and costs. That doesn't mean that Digibyte is inferior in payments. If anything, it is one of the fastest and cheapest cryptos for everyday transactions. Uh, however, the truth is that the issue of transaction speeds and costs won't even matter in a few years. Most other cryptos are focused on it, and it will quickly lose its status as a value proposition. If anything, most cryptos are focused on payment-based features will die out for one simple reason, Bitcoin. In the near future, Bitcoin will most likely implement the Lightning Network, essentially killing off the whole issue of transaction speeds. Uh, being the dominant crypto on the market, there is zero chance that masses would bypass it as a payment method in favor of some lesser-known altcoins. So, um, just moving on down below. The developer network, the ERC-20 standard, and its wide partnership with Ethereum has proven to be more valuable. This is blah, blah, blah. It's in reference to Tron trying to take over its share. Um, in essence, the direction that Digivite is taking will see it attain massive value growth over time. IoT and artificial intelligence are increasingly becoming a reality and will become more pronounced in the next decade. As such, the project will manage to secure these networks will have a huge intrinsic value in the coming years. Digibyte happens to be the one blockchain that has the capacity, uh, capacity to do this. It is one of the most, if not the most secure block blockchains out there. It is also highly scalable, which makes it a perfect fit for the fast growing IoT driven industries. In a few years, you could be interacting with a Digibyte secured device on a daily basis without even knowing it. Uh, besides, Digibyte still retains the status as a reliable and cost-effective payment method, which is an icing on the cake to its intrinsic value. This makes Digibyte a strategic investment for someone looking to invest in crypto with a view of 5 to 10 years, which is kind of the boat I'm in. You know, I'm not one of these guys who mines and sells every day. I mine it and I hold it. 
Now, when I do get enough to pay the rigs off, I will sell at that point, but I need to, but I don't plan on selling everything off. Um, so, anyways, so what I started doing, it's kind of a test right now, it's my NVIDIA rig. Um, as you can see, it's running now on mining Digibyte Skeen, or Skine, however you want to call it. Um, maybe about an hour now, 340 accepted shares. Uh, if you go over to what to mine right here, I put it in, it's about 0.87 giga hash. $1.31 a day gross, not much. I'm going to see actually how much I actually, you know, get. Uh, and I may just go back to mining like Bitcoin gold and then sell that and buy Digibyte. I wouldn't wouldn't mind getting like a thousand digibyte just to hold on to sitting at about four cents a coin right now so we'll see seems to be running pretty good right here um, haven't had any problems with it you can go over to the um, github I'll probably put a link to this down below you download the CC miner right here you'll need 7-zip to open it um, I'll pull up my miners folder when you unzip it, let me click on miners. I unzip mine and I call the folder digibyte miner. And all you would do is create at this point a run.batch file, which I will show you that real quick. Click on edit. And it's basically this is what I got off from you. Know, I'm running mining pool hub. So this is my address for mining pool hub right there. Username is my login uh, name for Mining Pool Hub, and then dot NVIDIA rig if you wanted to name your rig. Password is X. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. Once you create that bat file, you just save it and then double click on it, run. You know, like the um, Bitcoin Gold video I did. Um, I'll put that up above if y'all want to watch that, how to mine you know, Bitcoin gold. But it's pretty much straightforward the same way, and you get this miner like this, and it runs, and it's doing pretty good. 348 shares so far. All right, so moving on. Here's Mining Pool Hub right here, Digibyte Skeen. I, as you can see, I just started mining it, not even 30 minutes ago probably. And I'm at 1.41 digibytes so far with 1.18 sitting on the unconfirmed portion. If you go over to digibyte scheme right here, dashboard, there's my hash rate. And past uh, averaging the last 24 hours, 1.27, which should go up 2.34 total so far today. Um, uh, I would be happy with about 50 coins. I don't think I'll get that much, but like I said, we'll find out tomorrow about this time to see exactly what I end up getting. Um, again, I know it's not um, as profitable as Bitcoin gold, at least as far as what to mine says, but I'd like to mine it myself and see what I get. All right, so lastly, subscriber pool. If you all, um, let me move my little guy probably down over here so subscriber pool is fairly new it used to be the technicals pool um, it's basically a pool for the YouTube community and its um, followers subscribers um, we've got the technicals on there we got JMS vlogs Seth Estrada Brandon coin curse mining and me of course right here as far as the quote-unquote YouTube celebrities um, they probably got 40, 30 to 40 or so coins right now you can mine on here. Most popular right now are Ravencoin, GP Union, and I think Redden. If I'm not mistaken, I saw Redden up here. Yes, Redden right there. Most popular. Um, announcements, they've added all these coins in about the past week, so they are updating the pool. They're adding coins on a pretty regular basis. Um, they've added... Lux, Zune, Compass, Infinix, Pixocash, Oxid, Citron, Garlic Coin, and most recently, Litecoin. So, more and more, I would like them to add um, Bitcoin Gold 
in my uh, case, maybe even a little Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. But again, I don't know behind the scenes how hard it is to add to a pool. But once they do add it, of course, I will be on here mining using their um, pool. Uh, if you guys want to head up, uh, I'll put a link down in the description over to subscriber pool. And if you do decide to mine with them, um, as your password, just enter crypto fish like you see it right here. You know, it's all together, capital C, capital F. You can click on getting started, and they give you plenty of examples. So let's just say you're mining Ravencoin. You would put at the very end, uh, see where it says P, you would put space, you put CryptoFish, and then the, the C equals RVN, that's for Ravencoin or whatever. But P, your password basically would be my name, CryptoFish, capital C, capital F, all one word. So if you guys are interested, mining any of these coins go check them out they're a growing pool they're getting bigger by the day by the week um and with that guys i guess that's going to be it so if you guys have any questions or comments put them down below i'll be sure to get back to you um again be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and um You'll be notified of any future videos, uh, especially for the Enter to Win Bitcoin Friday video. Head over to Subscriber Pool, find one of the coins you like, um, and start mining it through them. All right, guys? Help them grow. It helps everybody grow as a uh, YouTube community. All right? So with that, guys, I will uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.